Hello there, and welcome back to another episode of Touching Corners. I'm just kidding. Hi guys, welcome back to another episode of Touching Corners. This is Stephanie. This is gonna be a DIY video of a sugar daddy robe, or a feathery robe, or a get ready robe, or a luxurious robe, whatever you wanna call it. Um, this was inspired by the lovely Amber Scholl, who I follow on YouTube. Um, she is amazing. The stuff that she does usually comes out fantastic. The way that she did it was with a black needle and thread, and she bought multiple feather boas um, in order to make sure that she had the right amount of everything in order to make the robe look as fabulous as possible. I am literally just taking some crap that I had in the closet and I should be much more organized about the way that I'm gonna do it but I really just like the idea and I bought the glue and I already had the feathers and this lovely robe um, so I decided to just go ahead and do it so that is the plan it is going to be whatever the heck it ends up being literally I was like this could go here this could go there let's see whatever happens this might be a disaster and then again, it might be fabulous, but why not? That's what life is, right? It's a risk. So if you'd like to keep watching, please do. I'll see you in a minute. All right, so let's go ahead and get this started. I'm gonna do my DIY sugar daddy robe. Maybe you are a little bit lazy like me and you don't like the plan and you just wanna throw some stuff together and hope that it looks fabulous. Let me go ahead and tell you what I got. So this is the robe. Here, as you can see, it's just a plain uh, satin kind of like robe, satin material. I don't even know. You can see there's nothing around the collar. It's short sleeves and it's kind of short here at the bottom. But that's what it is and it comes with a little uh, tie that goes around the waist. So that's that. So the first thing I'm gonna do is, well, you're gonna need a pair of scissors. It's clear, transparent E6000, a feather boa. What I'm gonna do is I'm gonna take this and I'm gonna put, gonna put it on this. And I'm gonna take this and I'm gonna attach it to there to go Literally, I'm gonna just I'm gonna follow this little seam to where I'm gonna put the feathers. So I'm gonna go there. I'm gonna go around the neck. To about here. I'm just gonna see if it's even. To about there. And literally, I'm just going to, where does this end? Right here, right here. Yeah, I'm just gonna cut up there. Why not? There's gonna be feathers freaking everywhere. Oh, damn, I freaking cut it. I don't know, I feel unsafe about that. Done. All right, so that's step number one. Let's go ahead and get this out of the way and let's measure a sleeve. Holy cow, this is looking really feathery right now. Oh no, oh no, this is literally all the feather that I have left. I'm only gonna be able to do one sleeve. Or maybe not, or maybe not. Let's see, one sleeve around. Okay, I should have measured better, 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 better. All right, so I'm gonna use that. So I'm gonna have to make this a little shorter because like I said, I planned poorly. And I'm gonna have to make this a little shorter because I'm gonna need for the other sleeve. Oh, that's a lot. Maybe I should, I could probably do half these. Let's see this, no, nah. no. Nah. Okay, so I need whoop, double that to about here. Let's give it a little more, just extra. So, and I'm gonna use this because we're just gonna cut this again, because like I said, poor planning. Boop, this I might need for the other side. So let's use that on the other side. Boop, holy feathers. All right, so now we're gonna have to shorten this. All right, so we have this a little extra, and then we have this, this is awesome. I have this and I have this. Oh, oh it kind of looks like it wants to go all the way around, so I just need a, like a, another little piece-ish. And let's do just this little piece right here, right? Yeah, that looks good. That looks good. That's a great idea. I think that's that's a great idea. You know what? You're a genius, Steph. Why not? Boom! There we go. So it's going to be two pieces for this sleeve, <laughs> one piece for this sleeve, and this is going to go around the neck. And now, literally, looks like I own a chicken farm. Anyways, either way, there's some, there's some chicken. Yeah, why not? Let's just start gluing, right? I have to just make sure that they're even. That's my that's that that that's a saving grace here. Is that whatever's in the center stays in the center. So I think the center is there. So I'm gonna put it there. That's where we're gonna start. That's where the center is. That's where we're gonna put it. That's the E6000. About to squirt this thing, little thing on there. I'm gonna put it a little bit further back in the neck so it's not like. It has a little rope in the middle of this. So I'm just gonna try and place the little rope thing in the middle of where that dollop is. All right, that's, 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 that just happened. Let's see what it looks like under here. All right, it looks like it's kind of sticking. Did it go through the other side? Maybe a little bit. That's okay. All right, so that's number one. Let's see if we can get this to go all the way around. All right, all right, all right, all 
Ray, Feather, stay, stay. Okay, okay. All right, so I have this much left. This much left to glue down. Let's do the sleeves just in case we need more from there. Okay. All right, sleeve number one. See if I can prop this up. It's kind of sitting up just so the sleeves don't stick to themselves. All right, that's number one. Sleeve number one. Let's go to sleeve number two. This is literally just not taking me very long. All right, and then this little shred of dignity here. This one, we're going to stick there. And then this little shred of dignity is going to go right here. We're just going to leave that um, up like that and figure out what we're going to do with this little center portion. Looks like we had enough of the sleeve, so I'm just going to go ahead and paste the rest of these feathers down the middle here. That does look a little ratchet, but let's see how the end result turns out. All right, so that's looking like something, right? Is it looking like something? <laughs> it's looking like a hot mess, Stephanie. Um, yeah, so that's looking like something. Let's go ahead and give it at least an hour to let it dry uh, and we'll finish this DIY. Holy shit, y'all. This worked. I look like a bootlegged mama. But da 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 bum 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 holy cow the inside kind of has a little bit of damage from like the black but everything else seems to be sticking like it's stuck and it looks good and this is the sleeve it looks like a bird sleeve um, oh my god hollywood starlet right here man reuse some of the crap in the closet i'm down with all of that though this is fun let me see if i can show you the full the full view, crisscross this, boom, boom. And it kind of looks awesome. And look at the sleeves, they're looking amazing. Holy shit, I can't believe this hot mess worked. Do I look seductive? Is this working? Is it? Enough of that. So, I think this little DIY might have worked. My first DIY trial off of YouTube to try to attempt a sugar daddy robe I think was a success if you think this was a success give this video a thumbs up because I freaking think so what the hell this worked like this is so much fun like next time I do a little get ready me with me makeup look this is just gonna be the bomb to do like I mean hello I might just go out in this uh, mop the floors in this I want to do the dishes in this I am loving this I am loving everything about this I'm gonna give it at least 48 hours to cure so that it doesn't um get damaged and i can actually wear it on a regular basis um and i'm gonna have to steam clean it because i don't think all these feathers can go in the wash which is the reality of things but for the most part i would like to say this is a success and um so thank you all for joining me on this crazy lazy uh diy because i was too lazy to sew in anything i'm too lazy to measure anything out and i was too lazy to do anything right but you know what i think it came out pretty damn good so yeah, so if you'd like to try it, you saw all the instructions, there really wasn't anything to it. Where there's a will, there's a way. And if you want it to happen, just do it. It doesn't mean it has to be exactly perfect. If you want to try it, just try it. Freaking, what's the worst that can happen? It turns out like shit and you try again, right? No big deal. I'm excited when crap I try works. Thank you so much for joining me on another episode of Touching Corners. I really enjoyed myself. I hope you enjoyed watching. Please join me again um, on my channel here, Touching Corners, where I basically put together videos on whatever the hell comes into my head, and I make it a reality for all of you lovely people to enjoy. If you like it, if you think there's something I should have done differently, please let me know in the comments below. Um, if you've tried this yourself and you've had great success, please post a picture. Send me a picture. I'm on Instagram, Snapchat, Facebook, and the Twitter. Just feel free to like, comment, and subscribe. Bye-bye.